Yes, I'm keeping secrets in my head For any space you can find Glad to see that I could help Make your life a bit easier But have you ever told a girl I felt You need to think about your behavior It's time for another edition of Butch on Sports. Simply Butch is here. And as always, boys and girls, thanks for tuning in. Indeed, thanks for tuning in on this uh, particular abbreviated version of Butch on Sports today here. Give you some sports news you can't get enough of. The Detroit Pistons, you know, are not in the mix. And again, the Red Wings are not playing tonight. So there you go for that. <laughs> but other things were going on, and um, we'll get those to you as well. As always, thanks for tuning in, boys and girls, here on this uh, abbreviated version of Butch on Sports. Miss Fairways, Miss Greens, Miss Putts, and a partridge in a pear tree, and Tiger Woods missed the cut. Yes, at the Genesis Open on Friday, Tiger Woods had all kind of troubles here, all kind of bogeys. And just playing in his third, yes, it's only his third, since his fourth back surgery last year, would struggle to find any kind of rhythm or maintain any momentum on the Riviera Country Club track and often was very much so screwed up. Uh, I found the opening round uh, one over 70-72, Woods, Carded eight bogeys during the second round that gave him a 76 and left him four strokes off the projected cut line. Too bad for Tiger Woods. Uh, he did announce that he's going to be entering in next week's golf tournament. So stay tuned, boys and girls, for the progression of uh, maybe improving Tiger Woods. Uh, this week he wasn't improving here, boys and girls. He, I watched some of that golf match late this evening here during the dinner hour, and he was not good. <laughs> he was not good. During Friday's rounds, he just hit like five of the 14 fairways and nine of the 18 greens in regulation there. His three putts three times in the back nine alone just gave him problems. All I can tell you, boys and girls, on Tiger Woods' progression toward getting back and mainly just getting prepared for the, the Masters. So, hey, there you go. Tiger's Ron Garnheimer was a storytelling move Friday. And, uh, he was dealing with the pitchers and the catchers working on the third day of official workouts. Uh, he talked about some ice fishing and what with his coaches, and also his friend, Walleye. I don't know who he is. However, he also, and this is where I got kind of interested in listening to, to the conversation uh, from <laughs> the state of Michigan, and wish I could have joined in because I was just part of the press conference where I could hear the, the audio portion of it there. Um I forgot that um, in, in my days of living in Portland, Oregon, he was part of uh, the minor league baseball team there called the Portland Beavers. Yes, the Portland Beavers, during the majority of the time I was in Portland, was an affiliated, AAA affiliate of the Pittsburgh Pirates. However, in 87, that all changed where they end up being an affiliate and a huge changeover. And they was the affiliate of the Minnesota Twins. So with that saying, with all that saying, uh, he wasn't too favorable about the time he stayed in Portland there. Well, 
Um, he said um, it was his worst team he ever played on there. And also, Gartenheimer kind of reminisced on the the manager of that particular team at the time. Guess who, boys and girls, was the manager of that team at that particular time? It was a man named Charlie Manuel. He was not successful in that manager stint, but once he got in the major league, Charlie Manuel was very, very successful, especially with the Cleveland Indians. So, you know, never say your first tour of duty or your other tours of duty because you failed. You can't be somebody down the road a piece here. That's what they keep telling me as well there. And I still have faith and keep my hope alive here for that particular. And uh, you should too. Quavo is the most valuable player for the 2018 NBA Celebrity Game. Team Clippers beat the Team Lakers. Yes, the rapper Quavo was named the most valuable player in Friday night's 2018 NBA All-Star Celebrity Game after the Team uh, Clippers were leading 75-66 victory over Team Lakers in the Verizon Up Arena in Los Angeles. That used to be the old convention center which they kind of renovated that around and got it ready for All-Star Weekend for you boys. In case you don't know where that particular location is, the old convention center where the Clippers used to play and also um, the USC Trojans. Now there's other facilities that they play in, and um, I guess they're better off happy ever after. You know, on TV it looks pretty nice, but I know the building's old as crap here. Okay, let's move on here. I saw a little bit of the <clears throat> the Rising Stars game as well. And the World Rising Stars were beating the crap out of the United States Rising Stars by a ridiculous margin there that I don't care to talk about because really and truly I don't watch those particular games. Joe MB, who was picked on the outside team for Sunday's game, was also taking part in Friday night's game as well. And, you know, he wasn't stepping too hard, you know, or playing too hard as well. You know, he don't want to mess up his, I can't play back-to-back games, although they, I'm quite sure they practiced yesterday here and uh, got their do why did he in, in familiarity of his teammates on the world side there. World side included people like uh, Simmons and, Ah, Brooks. The list goes on and on and on. Um, and I, you know, and I hate to say it, but the world has caught up with the United States as far as playing basketball. And playing it the right way, by the way, here. No, there's no more the, the point where you can go in there and try to be Michael Jordan or somebody that you're not. But learning the game from the ground up and being somewhat very hospitable with the basis of the game, not only playing offense, but also being able to excel on defense. And those world players are a huge step up. I feel sorry for the United States when it comes down to the Olympics there. And the NBA does not participate in that. They're going to get her. That might be the best thing that ever happened because Canada right now has caught up with the United States as far as talent is concerned. Matter of fact, I'll faithfully say they have passed up the United States with talent that's coming into the NBA and being somewhat very successful. Look at uh, Murray, Barker. Whew, the list goes on and on and on. If those particular individuals get meshed up in the Olympics two years from today or this summer, which would be in 2020, the United States got a job to do. Those Canadians are, again, catching up with talent, uh, the old-fashioned ways. For that matter, like I said, the world is catching up with the Americans in sports in general there. Uh, the, speaking of sports in general, the Olympics there, Oh, by the way, Quavo scored 19 points to pace the Clipper, Team Clippers, White Canadian Olympic sprinter. Andre D. 
Grassy, he had 17 points for him. So, uh, hey, uh, wasn't no smuts again there. We'll get to the NBA and some <laughs> stuff there. Uh, well, let's get to it now while we're on the, the, on the habit of the NBA here. There's a lot of debate over the inaugural NBA uh, star draft. Some players opposed televising it because they didn't want the feelings in front of the national audience. Everyone else couldn't understand why it wouldn't be on TV, especially if it was the whole point of reconstructing the game was to raise interest in competition. Broadcasting results uh, to the world would give uh, a more moment like uh, Russell Westbrook mistakenly said he was picked last and was shredded by the Wizards there. And hold on other thing. Those particular captains was LeBron James and Stephen Curry. And this afternoon, the commissioner of basketball threw Stephen Curry under the bus saying that he was the one I undoubtedly did not want to see it televised. And of course, after the fact, LeBron James going along with Stephen Curry, uh, agreed. But the main target of the the press who talked to the commissioners, when the commissioner devolved that information out, again stated that Stephen Curry was the main one who did not want it televised. Lovely job that the commissioner throw in Stephen Curry under the bus. Of course, his, uh, the the commissioner's speech, main speech, will be tomorrow on uh, NBA television, if you want to catch that. All day long, you, you know, start, cut on your TV about 2 o'clock in the afternoon. Just leave it there. You just want to catch everything that's going on in the NBA, including the final list of the NBA Hall of Fame. Okay, and that's, that's part of the All-Star Weekend. Blitz, as I call it there. All-Star Weekend. You just can't get enough of it, can you, boys and girls? No, you can't. Really, you can't get enough of it. I'm just, you know, looking around the old washer here and looking at some uh, submitted scores there. Uh, basketball that was played tonight there. We're looking at uh, Adrian beating up on Tecumseh. Adrian uh, Lewitt, Christian beating up on... Uh, uh, Hillsdale Academics uh, by two points there. Uh, other scores and final. Uh, Saginaw Swan Bad Valley beat up on Alma. Uh, another score, Ann Arbor Central Academy beat Dearborn Vance Tech by a lot, 68 to 45. Woohoo! That was a kidder there. Um, Ashley beat Coleman tonight here in basketball. A uh, supermajority there, and also uh, the away team Unionville uh, Cedar Wanning, uh, Cedar Wanning, okay, beat up on Bad X tonight. That was a surprise to me here. Also, Bath beat up on uh, Potterville, fifty six to uh, thirty seven. Other particular scores as we scan along here: uh, Big Rapids beat up on Stanton's. Uh, Central Mount Calm, Mount Pleasant Sacred Heart blasted the home team Blanchard um, Montebella uh, sixty-one to fourteen. That was a that was a that was a beat down there in the overtime game. Bridgman um, defeated Comstock by two points here. As we continue to move along with scores and whatnot that we got thrown on in here at this present time, K Park, um, they defeated uh, Almas by 10 points. We move along, and Cheboygan loses to uh, Rudard by 62 to 50 score in that particular contest as well. Moving right along here, uh, uh, let's see, Koma. Colomar and um, Saga Tuck um, was playing tonight. Uh, Colomar beat uh, Saga Tuck by a score of 63 to 35. As uh, again, we scan along with the scores and highlights here. 37 to 34. Amanda beat Crosswell Leamington. Other scores Crystal Falls, Forest Park beat up on Bark 
River Harris, 61 to 51. That's a final score, boys and girls, as we scan along here. More scores and highlights here. Burton Allerton beat Durant, um, 54 to 31. Holt got their rear end kicked in by East Lansing. Also, um, mm, Monticello also wins over Ear Clary. Monticello, the away team in this particular one, and, uh, can't be too happy. Probably senior night, too. And, uh, you know, your home team, and you get beat up like that. That ain't too cool. Flint Karma Ainsworth beat Mount Pleasant 54-37. Uh, Flint International Academy beat Deckerville. Also in the final scores here, uh, scattering around, Fowler beat Fulton. Uh, also, um... Schoolcraft, another away game for Schoolcraft. They beat uh, they they beat Galesburg Augustus, Livonia Clar- uh, Clarenceville loses to Garden City tonight. Garden City with a home win. Uh, Grand Rapids Covenant Christian played uh, Grand Rapids uh, South Christian. Uh, South Christian was the away team. They win fifty seven to forty five. We move on. Just keep on moving here. Uh, Grand Rapids Catholic beat uh, Hudsonville Unity Christian. Also, final scores in this particular Dilly Dow is uh, hmm, Illsdale uh, beat up on Brooklyn Columbus Central in this game here. Hollis uh, West Ottawa. Beat up on uh, Granville in a close one, 46-43. Uh, Final score in this particular game is White Cloud beat Houghton. Uh, uh, White Cloud was the away team. That was an overtime game as well here. Uh, Final score in this one, Houghton, the, the home team, beat Escanaba 60-56. to We keep moving along as uh, Iona. Got a hold to Lansing Catholic by 10 points in this game here. I don't know what's the home team. Uh, Jackson Northwest beat Marshall 57-42. to We keep scanning along here for these final scores. Lansing Waverly beat Mason 58-40. to uh, More final scores. Leroy Pine River beat uh, Grand Travis Academy. 60 to 40 in this particular Manistee Catholic Central uh, beat Walkerville 59 to 53 in this particular game. Memphis, not Memphis, Tennessee, but Memphis here in Michigan loses to Harbor Beach 63 to 45. Uh, that particularly uh, Michigan Central. Loses to Hanover Horton, 68-62. to We keep moving on here. And a one-point victory by Montague over North Muskegon, 49-48. to um, Some more scores here. We will just give you right now what we got here. Britton Deerfield, a winner tonight over... Uh, yeah, let's say Britain Deerfield is a winner tonight over Marissi. And again, that's the final score. Uh, Muskegon Heights Academy beat Manistee. Uh, Muskegon Orchard View beat uh, Muskegon Western Michigan Christian. Uh, final score, St. Ignis loses to Newberry. North Branch beat up on Exicville Garber. And uh, let's see, we're just taking in the scores that we got right now as a final Ottawa Lake uh, Waterford beat up on Sand Creek, 82 to 60. Alice uh, Ellis, uh, they beat up on Pecani, 59 to 48. Oh, man, just it's just some, some whippings in here. Uh, Peck. Beat up on Bay City All Saints, fifty to thirty-four. We're still moving right along. Portland edge uh, Eaton Rapids, forty-six to forty. Uh, Portland St. Patrick's uh, loses to Danville, fifty-one to forty-eight. 
Quincy beat up on Jonesville, fifty-three to thirty-nine. We we keep moving on. Ross Commons beat up on Farewell, fifty-two to forty-three. Saginaw beat uh, Bay City. John Glenn, sixty-seven to thirty-one. That was a whooping there. Uh, Bill City beat uh, Saginaw Nova, uh, fifty-two to forty-four. In this particular outing here. Uh, we're moving still with boys basketball. St. John's beat Charlotte. Also, St. Joseph's uh, Lake Michigan beat Covered in their particular game. Uh, we 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 got a couple more scores in, and we'll give you finals here. Three Rivers uh, beat uh, Downwellick uh, seventy-three to ninety-five. Downwellick was the winner in that one. Excuse me, they was the away team, and they won. And I read that all backwards here. Travis City, St. Francis, I didn't get this backwards, over Grayling tonight in their particular contest. Also, the girls were playing as well here. And uh trying to get some girls' scores in here. We've got one more boy score there, Wolverine. And Mackinac City, Wolverine beat Mackinac City 63-41. to uh, Wyoming beat up on Grand Rapids Christian. 67 to 52. Uh, in this particular game, the, for the rights of Ypsilanti, 52 to 53, uh, Ypsilanti community beat up on Ypsilanti Lincoln in this particular contest. Um, Zealand East beat Hamilton tonight. Uh, Agana, uh they lose to Richmond. Richmond was the away team as well. Okay, we've got some girls' finals here. And Battle Creek Calhoun Christian beat uh, Jackson Preparatory and Early College tonight. And, and that was a whooping 59 to 15. Uh, let's see if we can get some more girls' scores here. Uh, Big Rapids, they lose to Stanton Central Mount Com, 45 to 38. More girls' scores 57 to 40. Boyne City over East Jordan. Bronson. 59, 46 for Springport in that particular contest there. Also, K-Pack loses to Almas, uh, 40 to 30 in that contest. More girls score here. Concord beat Reading by a score of 72 to 58. These are all girls scores that I'm giving to you right now as I'm scanning them around. DeWitt beat up on Haslett, 51 to 35. Durant beat up on Burton Atherton, uh, 64 to 19 in this particular contest. Marcellus beat up um, the visiting team was Marcellus beat up on Air Claire, 53 to 19. Oh boy! And um, we got a couple more finals here. Uh, Chalavoy, uh away team beat up on Else Rapids. Also Manton beat up on Evan uh, uh, in a and a killer there, 72 to 20. That's all the scores we ha have. I guess I got one more here, and then we're going to say, okay, we're, we're done with it. Uh, 48 to 33, Fallowville over Williamston, that particular contest tonight here as well. Grand Blanche, we keep on doing it here, 42 to 22 over Livonia Churchill. Grand Rapids Covenant Christian over Grand Rapids Southern Christian, 64 to 58 in this close game there. Grand Rapids Northville uh, beat up on Greenville, 39 to 27. Uh, 60 to 67. That's Grand Rapids Forest Hill beating up Northern, beating up on Grand Rapids Ottawa Hills in that particular contest. Howard City, Tri County, 45. Grant. 27, Monroe St. Mary's Catholic beat the slop out of Gross Hills, 59 to 18. Do we have any more final scores here? Yes, we do. White Cloud beat Houghton, 59 to 24. Uh, Hopkins beat up on Wyoming Kelloggsville, 54 to 28. John Glenn loses to Howe by a score of 72 to uh, 43. Uh, we're, we're getting, dang, they just popping in here now here as we speak here. Uh, 53 to 48, Jackson Northwest 
over Marshall in this particular contest. Jensen, 62. Grand Rapids Unions, uh, 42. Kalamazoo's Lloyd Norris. Uh, they loses to Kalamazoo Central, 80 to 42. Uh, we have some more scores here. Uh, Lansing Waverly, uh, they, they, they did it with a home game here. 60 to 33 final score. Lawrence in a overtime game beats Waterville's 63 to 57. That's all I have there. Wait a minute here. Livonia Clarenceville. Loses to Garden City. This is the girls, 47-21. to 21. And the final one I got a score I have here before I run out of time, 45-38, to 38, Grand Rapids Forest Hill Central over Law. Those are the scores that I have for you, boys and girls. Uh, finally, before I get off the air and enjoy my weekend, uh, we had a... As you, we talked about yesterday, and I didn't want to say too much because I'm upset, being upset, but a little cool down the day here. There was many conversations in many schools, public school, private schools, uh, elementary classes, middle school classes, high school classes, all uh, having a little conversation about what happened yesterday in Florida, which was pretty gruesome and deal. 17 people passed away, many others injured or critically injured at best. It is a, a shame that things are out of the way in this country, one of the richest countries in the world, but we just can't figure out who that uh, we, we should give time and effort to. It seems like money talk and, be, and, and, and conversation with kids being safe, that means not a damn bit of difference in this country. We're going to have to change that attitude. This is not about a Republican or Democrat situation. This is about making sure that our children go to school and they go there and come home and be safe. And one other thing, when I talked to the kids today and we had this roundhouse conversation, me listening to the kids, and many feel that they got to get involved now. They have to get involved in convincing their parents to get more actively involved in, in, in the safety of them going to school and coming back home. And many of them say there should be some gun control or some type of ID check for many of these people who are purchasing guns. These are the kids. Are you going to shut them down? Their safety? Their peers that they got to walk into a class the next day and find out there's an empty desk. That's something to think about, boys and girls. It's something to think about indeed here. And hopefully, we can stop talking and get some action taken care of there. You know, I, I, as I told the kids today, you know, you are an important voice. Never think that your voice don't mean anything in this world. You have teachers, you have counselors, you have parents. Or guardians. Let them know if things are not right. Let them know. Learn how to take a journal. And put your thoughts down on on paper and pencil. Date it. So you have a rolling track of what went on and what didn't go on. Keep a record. That is the best way for people to understand hear you out, and maybe, hopefully, we'll get something done with the adults who are not doing a damn thing at all about gun control in this country. I hate to say the other things, but right now, this is the weekend. I want you to enjoy it. But when one organization can buy someone to keep their mouth closed or do absolutely nothing, that has to be surpassed by, again, our children getting to the adults and let them know, regardless of who's paying you, it doesn't rank when it comes down to our safety. Straighten it out. The person we found out today is on the radar with the FBI, and the FBI did absolutely nothing. And it's something to think about. And with that all said, I'm done. Hopefully everyone has a very safe, 
long weekend. Many of you are off on Monday because it's President's Day and get extended time, either the whole week off or maybe a couple of extra days there. You know, maybe she wasn't buying a snowstorm, then school systems might want to make up that. But you got an extended vacation. At least the majority of, of the boys and girls got the week off, and some only got maybe the Wednesday off here. But uh, enjoy it. Have some conversation. Have some fun. And hopefully then pray for many who got to start taking care of business in a better way here in this country. Okay, I'm Simply Butch. Thank you for tuning in uh, for this not abbreviated edition anymore. We went way long on this one here. Hey, have an absolutely great weekend. Butch on Sports is a presentation of Oh My Darling Productions. Again, have a great weekend, boys and girls, ladies and gents. When you get back to school, it is district tournament time. <laughs> 